Dr. Starno with Way Love and Recipes. And tonight I'm gonna be cooking up some codfish fillets from Frozen, because they're frozen. And I want some codfish fillets. So we're gonna do that up tonight in the New Way Bravo XL Smart Oven. So when you need to do it, you'll know how to do it as well. And I'll do it in a manner so that even if you have other type of air fryer, you'll have an idea of how to do it in yours as well. But we're gonna cook those codfish fillets up from Frozen right now air fry style in the new way bravo all right so when i say that i'm going to be cooking these frozen codfish fillets up air fry style i mean i'm going to be using the air fry functionality of the new way bravo i'm not going to be air frying them like in batter i've already got a video about air frying codfish fillets so this is to basically do some grilled ones air fry style from frozen but they're really going to be like grilled codfish fillets from frozen using the air fry feature and so I've got myself four codfish fillets. These are hard frozen. I've got myself some Old Bay seasoning I'll be using along with some extra virgin olive oil and some freshly ground black pepper. Just gonna get these out of the packaging and onto the plate and then I'll bring you right back. All right, so I've got my frozen codfish fillets out the pack. Now my first order of business is going to just be to cover them with some extra virgin olive oil so that my other spices will stick a little easier. Alright, so I got my oil on to help those spices stick, so now I'm putting on my Old Bay and my freshly ground black pepper. Alright, now I'm going to take these uh, codfish fillets, put them up on my air fryer basket and I've got a baking pan with some foil on it underneath the air fryer basket just to catch those drippings. get these things out of the way here and so now I'm going to open up my new wave Bravo and this will make it uh, really easy to get the cooking time and temp right the way that I'll be doing it here and give an example for anyone with any other type of cooker now I've got the baking pan on the very bottom rack I've got the air fry basket on the third rack up so I'm going to close up and to start I'm going to turn the New Way Bravo on and going to hit the menu button to get the air fry. It starts at 360. I'm going to just bump it up to 400. And I'm going to hit the time temp button. And I'm going to let it go ahead and run for this first 15 minutes and hit start. But I'm probably going to go longer, but I'll show you what I'm going to do after the first 15 minutes is up to get this all fully cooked and cooked just right so we're gonna start with 15 minutes now all right with 10 seconds left once things in I'm gonna be moving kind of quick and showing you what I'm doing here so I've got a meat probe for my Bravo so time's up I'm just turning the light on and I'm gonna actually turn off see the time is 8 48 p.m. now I'm just turning the light on so I can see sticking my meat probe in the jack then I'm gonna open up here and I'm going to slide my meat probe in assuming this meat's not already done I mean if it's already done then hey that, that's great too but uh, I have my doubts it's reached a fully cooked temperature I'm trying to make sure my meat probe is in meat and not in uh, in great <laughs> so alright I got a probe in meat now I'm going to close up. Now I'm going to hit the power button and you see that, well, time is 8.49 p.m. at this point. But uh, I'm going to hit the probe button. I'm going to go up to 145 
and just gonna hit the menu to get the air fry, get back 400 degrees and hit start. I don't need to set a time because since I'm using the probe feature, the time doesn't matter. It's going to cook until it reaches my target temperature. It's at 87, 88 degrees now, but we know that we started at 8.49 p.m. So when things end, we'll know how much more time passed and so we'll know how long plus 15 minutes it takes to cook these from frozen at 400 degrees Fahrenheit in the New Way Bravo air fryer and you can do similar in other air fryers so we'll just wait this out and I'll bring you on back all right we're at 144 degrees and time is about to come to an end so we hit 145 now it's about to cut off and there it is it's over so it's 8.53 p.m. so four minutes passed so basically 19 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit you could say 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for good measure and an even number you get your codfish fillets grilled in the air fryer fashion so we're gonna just open up and turn the light on and I'll just get that meat probe out of our way here Sorry about that excess noise. But there we have it, our codfish fillets from Frozen. All right, I'm gonna take one of these grilled codfish fillets from Frozen, just uh, get up under that one there, and just plate it there. Look at how nice that looks. And that's in just under 20 minutes. So I'll go ahead and get the camera swap and do a taste test. All right, here's our uh, codfish fillet. Let's have a taste. When I look at it, I can't tell it was frozen, can you? Turned out well, because I know the temperature was just right when it finished cooking. So nice moist codfish fillet, cooked up from frozen in little time. You can do this in your own air fryer. The New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven makes it easy. Other air fryers use similar time and you'll get it taken care of pretty well. So, if you like this video, of course you can give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel. If you want written recipes, you can go to superwaveovenrecipes.com. If you want to just come to this channel to see videos, you can always use waveovenrecipes.com. On Twitter and Instagram, at waveovenrecipes. So with that, I will leave you with good eating.